click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends i welcome you all to the subject electromagnetic field theory we are with chapter number 10 that is the uniform plane waves in the previous chapter we had the maxwell's equation that has given us all the information regarding the behavior of electric and magnetic field which are the two parts of this particular subject electric uh, electromagnetic field theory so from those maxwell's equation into the time domain in the very first topic that is maxwell's equation we have in the phasor form now from the maxwell's equations we have derived the wave equations to show the electromagnetic wave where the orientations of the electric field and magnetic field intensity parameters are with respect to the time varying nature for the x y z parameters being the space coordinates now along with the wave equations for general conducting medium and for the perfect dielectric medium we have its solution to obtain the wave propagation information in terms of the attenuation constant alpha the phase shift constant beta together we can say the propagation constant gamma along with the intrinsic impedance eta the velocity of propagation v the lambda being the wavelength of uniform plane wave so we have solved certain problems also we have taken the help of loss tangent term that has categorized the material to be of conductive or dielectric nature so let us take the last problem on to the wave propagation in good conducting medium where the most important parameter that is skin effect that will be addressed here so here we see the problem statement calculate depth of penetration and wave velocity for aluminium material given sigma is equal to 40 mega siemens per meter mu r is equal to 1 with f is equal to 2 mega hertz so problem statement is very simple and short here we have to calculate the two parameters that is depth of penetration and the wave velocity so velocity we are using the symbol small v to represent along with the depth of penetration in the previous video we have discussed it so that is denoted by this del symbol the material is aluminium the conductivity the relative permeability and the frequency value are given to us so for determination of both these parameters we begin with so for part a i note down first of all the given data the material is aluminium and it has non magnetic nature as we are provided mu r is equal to 1 here the conductivity is very much high for the aluminium or copper you can say so it is also given to us with this value and the frequency of the uniform plane wave to have propagation is 2 mega hertz what we can say 2 into 10 to the power plus 6 so with this much of value we require del operator so del operator or the uh, it is not actually the operator it is the depth of penetration so it has been taken from the skin effect so it is the distance covered when the initial amplitude of the electric or let us say magnetic wave reduces by 1 upon e factor 1 upon e factor so for this much of reduction into the magnitude the distance required is called as the depth of penetration del now we have the relation of del with respect to the attenuation constant alpha so it is given by 1 upon alpha is nothing but del so now first of all we calculate the loss tangent loss tangent is given by sigma upon omega epsilon so we can substitute 40 into 10 to the power 6 for mega in place of the conductivity omega we shall be writing 2 pi f hence 2 pi into frequency f is 2 into 10 to the power 6 into epsilon is epsilon 0 so we shall be substituting 1 upon 36 pi into 10 to the power minus 9 here so this results into 20 into 18 into 10 to the power plus 9 therefore it is 360 into 10 to the power 
सो दिस वैल्यू लॉस टेंजेंट वैल्यू इज वेरी वेरी ग्रेटर देन वन ऑलरेडी वी डिस्कस दैट द कंडक्टिविटी वैल्यू फॉर एल्यूमिनियम मटेरियल इज वेरी मच हाइयर हेंस सिलेक्टिंग द लॉस टेंजेंट वैल्यू वेरी मच हाइयर वी आर रिक्वायर्ड इन टू द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट to determine the depth of penetration and wave velocity hence the depth of penetration del that we are getting by the reversal of alpha so alpha we shall be selecting the value that is for good conducting medium now for good conducting medium where the loss tangent uh, sigma upon omega epsilon is very very greater than 1 here we have obtained that particular loss tangent value 316 into 10 to the power 9 so applicable formula for alpha will be equal to under root pi f it will be mu into conductivity sigma or in another words we can have omega into it will be mu into sigma divided by 2 so omega substituted 2 pi f we can interchange from this one so this formula will be quite simpler as we are directly given the frequency here not the angular frequency so calculating first of all the alpha and substituting into this denominator we take to the next step so del we shall be writing the depth of penetration is given by 1 upon under root it is pi f mu sigma so which shall be 1 upon we substitute the values one by one here pi initially the frequency value is 2 megahertz that is why 2 into 10 to the power 6 in multiplication with mu as we are provided mu r is equal to 1 that is relative permeability is equal to 1 we use the value of mu 0 so it will be 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 henry per meter along with the conductivity uh, conductivity value so that conductivity value will be 40 into 10 to the power plus 6 so we have substituted all the values to obtain the depth of penetration depth is the distance that is why we have to measure it in terms of meters so if you have the simple multiplication take the square root of it and get it inverse we obtain del with the value it is 5.62 Six nine into ten raised to the power minus five. So we have to get it into the meters. So I outline it separately. This is the one result that was required to be calculated in this problem number three. Five point six two six nine into ten raised to power minus five meters. We shall be outlining here. so if we get back to the problem statement we were asked to calculate the two parameters del parameter for the aluminum material we are covered now we shall be focusing our attention to obtain the wave velocity so to obtain the wave velocity the formula of velocity we shall be using in terms of the angular frequency omega and the phase shift constant beta so it is given by omega upon beta now we have the value of loss tangent that is sigma upon omega epsilon already calculated so that value is really very very high so it holds the value 360 into 10 to the power 9 so we get back to the particular value 360 into 10 to the power 9 so because of this here also the good conducting medium formula for beta will be applicable and for alpha and beta we have the same formula so beta or the good conducting medium sigma upon omega epsilon being very very greater than 1 we have the formula under root pi f mu into sigma or we can use under root omega mu sigma divided by 2 so this one we are going to prefer so it is having the same formula for attenuation constant as well as for field shift constant for good conducting medium therefore uh, we shall be having v so in the numerator we shall be substituting 2 pi f and in the denominator we shall be substituting pi f mu sigma into the square root hence the numerator i write it will be 2 pi into 2 into 10 to the power 6 so 2 pi f f value 
2 megahertz I have substituted. In the denominator, we have the under root. So it will be pi into 2 megahertz once again into mu will be mu 0 as the magnetic permeability. So as the magnetic permeability, the relative one that is equal to 1, therefore it will be 4 pi into 10 to power minus 7 here into the conductivity value here we have 40 into 10 to power 6, 40 into mega. So thus we have substituted all the values here. So obtaining the velocity V results into the value 707.1067. So velocity being into the SI system of units meters per second we apply the unit here. Now if velocity we obtain by alternate formula that is the general expression we use for the general conducting medium V that is omega upon beta we shall be substituting it is 1 upon under root here it is mu epsilon divided by 2 in the bracket here we have under root 1 plus sigma square upon omega square epsilon square plus 1. So that time also the substitution will be like the next step I show the under root mu epsilon 1 upon under root mu epsilon. So if we take mu 0 epsilon 0 so it will be the velocity of light. So in the numerator I shift that value 3 into 10 to the power 8 divided by under root here we have 1 upon 2 in the bracket again we take under root 1 plus it will be 360 into 10 to the power 9 bracket square plus 1 here. So from this computation also we obtained 707.1067. So it should be in meter per second. So this way we are covered with the velocity value. Earlier I have shown you the depth of penetration to hold the value 5.6269 into 10 to power minus 5 meters. So as 10 to power minus 5 is in multiplication, so it is a very small extent, the uniform plane wave can penetrate inside the aluminum material. Aluminum material being the good conductor material, depth of penetration we have obtained to hold very very less value. If it is not so good conductor material, so depth of penetration would be having more magnitude as compared to the result we have obtained. The wave velocity also we have obtained that is equal to 707 into uh, 0 0.1067. As we know that in the perfect conductor the wave propagation cannot have hence practically into the good conductor the velocity value we have obtained with very very less magnitude. Uh, in general if it is free space so it is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second with respect to that one this value is very very less value so i hope you have understood for the good conducting medium the depth of penetration the velocity obtained if the conductivity the magnetic permeability and the frequency of propagation is known to us into the next video we are going to take to start with the new topic that is pointing's theorem along with the wave power Pointing's theorem is going to give us the information while the wave is having propagation how much power is associated the power flow while the wave propagation is occurring that we will come to see into the next video. So by practicing this particular problems for electromagnetic field theory or to get certain more information to this particular subject you can subscribe to ETA channel.